Hey, it's Sandra from Conversion Minded, and today I'm going to show you how I use Trello to create a content calendar for social media. Now, Trello is really a project management tool. You can coordinate your projects and your tasks and everything that you need to do, which makes it perfect to use for a calendar because there are so many different moving parts when it comes to social media and what you want to be posting, what you want to be creating in terms of content, and it's easy to forget what you want to share. And I love Trello because it allows you to organize your entire calendar inside of what's called a board, which I'll explain in a minute, and you can see your entire month's worth of content that you're going to be sharing. And you can actually see it visually. You can see the pose, the images that you're going to include, maybe start writing an outline of a blog post. You can give it a title and you can schedule due dates for it and have it appear in the Trello calendar. So it's really a great way to organize all of the assets and the images and the things that you need to gather to in order to share your content. And it's also a way for you to make sure that you're sharing what you want to be sharing because I know it's so easy to forget that you you know you forget to share a post or you want to share something one of your products and you forget about it or you just don't really know what to share this is a way for you to be able to work on it at a bird's eye view and start to plan it out and see what you want to share and make sense of it all so let me show you how I use Trello I'm on my Trello dashboard here, and the first thing that you're going to want to know here is that Trello is comprised of boards, lists, and then cards. And cards kind of sit inside of lists, and lists sit inside of boards, and a board is really another name for a project. So you can use multiple boards if you want to, let's say, have a board around getting a client project done, you can create a board for that too. So you can create all different types of boards. You can even have a board that's just for your blogging ideas. And you can have a board that's for social media calendar, which is the way that I like to use it. So just know that boards are really projects. And then once you're inside of a board, like once I click on this social media board, then I'm in the board environment. So everything from here on out is all about this one project or this one board, the social media calendar. Now what you see across here are the lists. These are different lists and they're really just kind of big buckets for you to start gathering your ideas. You can add a list very easily right over here. You just give it a title. Let's say I wanted to create a videos list and now you'll see I can start adding a card and the cards are the things that you see over here filling up these lists. So like the cards would be kind of like your to-do list and the things that you itemize on your list but the difference here is that you can really see them. They come to life. You can add images. You can add due dates. You can add titles. You really see what you want to be sharing over here. So for instance, over here, I have blog posts, and then I have products, free offers, motivation and quotes, and then videos, the one I just created. These are the types of content that I like to share on social media. So what you can do is you can create a list for the different types of content you want to share. Now, you might be only sharing from two different types of content, and that's totally fine, but you can use this as a workspace to gather your ideas and make sure that you don't forget to share anything. So let me show you, if I click on over here on a blog post, you can give this a title. You can come down and you can color code these. I like to color code the types of content so that I can see them visually and make sure that you know I'm, I'm sharing the types of content that I want to share like at a glance. You can add an image here, which I really like because it starts to bring all of your content to life and I can see if I might want to change the photo, if the photo might work. And you can even add a comment. And for blogging, this is a great place to start outlining your blog post. You can actually start to get your ideas together about what you would want this to be about. Or actually it would go up here in your description. And you can also set a due date. You can click right here and set a due date. I've already set a due date and you can go here and easily change it if you need to change it around. And what that's going to do is that actually populates your calendar. So if we switch over here, I can look at 
June and I can start to see what's on my calendar and you can see the color coding here. So I know that red stands for blog posts, I know that yellow stands for products, I know that purple stands for my freebies and that way at a glance you can make sure that your mix of the content you're sharing for the month is in good proportion. You don't want to be promoting your business too much, but you don't want to forget about promoting your business either. And this is a good way for you to make sure that you have a good balance and that you're not forgetting anything that's really important for you to share. It's super easy to create cards too. You just go over here and you add a card. So if I wanted to uh, add a card here, I could also add a card from here and then I can start saying what this card is going to be. Uh, let's say I'm going to create an Instagram video and I'm going to add that and then I can go in and I can edit it and I can change the due date, I can edit the labels, I can give this a green color if I want and I can go in here and here is where I can start to you know, add maybe a thumbnail of the video I want to. I can add the description of maybe I can start to add my YouTube description in here that I would, I would post when I upload the YouTube video. So it's a really great way for you not only to plan your content but to actually start pulling together the materials you need for it. Because I think one of the biggest things that can get you hung up when sharing on social media is that you don't know what description you want to use when you post it. So, you know, you can use this area to populate with the descriptions that you're going to use in Facebook and, and everywhere else. So this is the way that I use it. It's super easy to use. This is a free Trello account and you can totally get a lot done with a free Trello account. You can even include team members. You can create private team boards, you can create private personal boards, you can create public board. Um, so it's really, really versatile and I love the fact that you can get in here and start using it for free without having to, you know, pay a monthly fee for it, right? They do have premium accounts. I haven't really checked those out because I haven't had a need to, but you do have that in there. I'm sure that there's more functionality if you take it to that level. So that's a quick intro to how I use Trello to create a content calendar. And I, again, I use it with the Google Docs calendar as well. So, you know, they, I find that they really work well together, but this is a great way to get a visual at a glance of the content that you're going to be sharing. And I love especially going into this calendar and being able to make sure that you're sharing the right types of content. That's super important because a lot of times we don't share content that's actually attached to a campaign or has an end goal. And this way you can look at it and you can make you can see your blog titles, you can see what products you're promoting and you know exactly whether or not they are aligned with your goals. So I hope that guy gives you a good head start on Trello. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, like it, and please subscribe to my channel so I can keep bringing you videos that will help you kill it on social media, build an online business that you love, email marketing, whatever it is, let me know in the comments too and I will create more videos around it. So whatever it is that you're you know, having some issues with, you want to know more about, let me know and I will create more content around that to help you do it.